Till I took a screwdriver in the knee and now it's closed out. So kind of like an arrow in the, to the knee. Hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Stray. So we're at the uh, ant village, was it? Also, I find this very, very interesting because there's actually English on these signs. No Zerk Zone, Safe Zone. Uh, I guess this is their guardian guy or at least a sentry. So... This is really cool looking. I mean, it kind of looks like a giant tree. Even though I think it's like trees growing off of it <laughs> or something. Uh, hello? This machine. The scientist I assisted used one of these. Kind of looks like a cryopod or something. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload... Something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. Oh. Oh, he is the scientist. Oh, that just blew his little mind, I bet. <laughs> was it? It was me. I was a scientist. I was human. I... I need a moment. Uh, yeah. Well, that was a big memory. <laughs> like, I feel like that bar should have been, like, a lot bigger. Like, uh, yeah. So, I wonder if he was trying to upload himself into a companion robot, because there was a companion robot hooked up next to it. So, I've kind of suspected that maybe these are where the humans went. Like, something was wrong, they were sick, and they, uh, they like, uploaded themselves into the robots or something. I don't know. Or maybe they have evolved or something. I... Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, either is possible, right? That their AI has evolved so far that they have their own language, their own personalities, or maybe humans uploaded themselves into the companion robots. Uh, I'm sorry. I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. Let's, uh find South Bar, so they said that he was like up at the top or something. Uh, what else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I've wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Ugh. I don't know. I mean, I hope so. Oh, wow. What is this? Ooh! <laughs> Hello? Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcend... Ascendal... Transcend... Oh, God, how do you say that? <laughs> Transcendental... <laughs> a meditation? Oh, it's Alcibar. Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know, Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Aww. I guess it's a picture of uh, them two. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Wow. So he's like all hooked up. I guess this is his version of meditation. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? 
Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more about the companions or head onward to Midtown. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to learn more. You should go find Clementine. I hope nothing has happened to her. Climb up to the top of our village and find the path to, meet, uh, to reach Midtown. Oh, I don't have anything with me. Well, I want to see what he says about the... The, uh, photo. My old friends. I miss them all the time. Don't forget about the address on the back of the picture. Okay, yeah, let's, uh, take a look at that, I guess. So, B to examine, and then... Oh. Okay, so it's, like, some sort of blue, and then, like, three, five? Hmm, interesting. Wow. So I wonder why he stopped here and she went on. Hello! The soothing sound of trash falling, shimmering waterfalls, no dangers. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Here, listen. Me, mighty concrete, shielding me in its womb, shall you also be my tomb? I think it's too solemn. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if that's your, if that's your, uh, your sort of thing, I don't see a problem with it. Oh, whoops. Uh, no, I want to go down. Because there were, like, a bunch of people. No. When I grow up, I want to be, like, uh, like Aunt Clementine. I want to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us to leave Aunt Village. Oh, so that's like a kid? Oh, hello there. It's been so long since we've had a visitor. Well, except those damn Zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power. Having them run in a wheel or something? Such wasted potential. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to try it. Oh, hello? Electric Zerk <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, look, and they're, like, using this oven as, like, some sort of, like, bookshelf. Hmm. Oh, memory. That one was kind of subtle, because, like, the blue paint in the background. This language. The companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now I'm, that I'm out and I know their language, I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Yeah, me too. Was that the only memory here? Wow, okay. Oh, look how pretty. Uh, hello? 9,536 games 1 to 6. Don't tell anyone, buddy. I'm actually programmed to win at this game. <laughs> Okay, so maybe they're, they aren't oh, humans uploaded. Uh-huh. Okay, but I want to meet this person. Hmm, statistically I should have won at least eight times. <laughs> oh, 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 am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Of course I'm going to do it! <laughs> Sorry. That, I had to. I had to. Oh, they won't, they won't talk with me. Oh. <laughs> now they're picking stuff up. Uh, okay, yeah, there's a couple people over here to talk to. Oh, man. I mean, it is very pretty. This is so much different than the slums. Like, you kind of feel bad for them. I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I re repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I just found. <laughs> Poor fellow, may he rest in peace. <laughs> they may call this junk me, I call them treasures. I see. Well, there's another one of those trees here, but uh, I noticed, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess we're gonna need that for something. So I wonder if we could like pluck something off of the purple one that we saw. Uh, Alright, so question is, how do I get back up there? Oh, just like this. <laughs> Kitty parkour! Oh, they're still picking up. <laughs> sorry, but also not sorry. <laughs> do you love the smell of fresh paint? Reminds me of... Oh, wait. 
I can't smell anything. How sad. <laughs> Aww. May is in her deconstructivist period, so she says, I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If she only could practice somewhere el <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> oh, I guess this is May. Do you know where uh, there are more than 900 sh shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. Calling it garbage brown. <laughs> see. Okay, so keep heading around. Okay, so that's dead end. Can we get up that way? No, we gotta go back up around, huh? Uh, but the purple tree was over here somewhere. Yeah, because I imagine, uh, oh yeah, like we can jump on it and everything. Uh, now what? There we go. See, this feels more natural <laughs> to, to be a cat in a tree. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll start heading up. I don't see anybody else on that level. Uh, any... Okay, so it looks like I can kind of walk around the other side here. Uh, oh look, little little swing. <laughs> oh, and a and a little catnap spot. Like blah blah was like, I can't believe you didn't let him catnap. <laughs> there we go. Little catnap. <laughs> oh, look at B12. He's so cute. <laughs> like at times B12 look, looks cuter than the cat. Like I don't know. I think that's just so adorable. Just tucked up in that little carrier. Uh, okay, so I don't think I can get that way. Okay, I think I gotta, wait, did I? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I already met those people. Uh, so back down and around. Yes, okay, yeah. I don't know why I keep thinking that, that that's, like, a new spot. So up we go. Uh, no. How did I get up there last time? Okay, there we go. The arrows. Follow the arrows. Blue light and arrows. Oh, what is he doing? Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Okay. That's how we got down. Or no. Uh... So does this just... Oh, did I just, like... Dang it, I thought this was going to lead me somewhere new. <laughs> oh. This food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my fr front casing if I keep eating this trash. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, look, it's like... It's kind of like noodles in a bowl. I But I haven't... I have yet to see someone actually eat something. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, Ramen J45 with my secret ingredient. Okay, what's, what's your secret ingredient? Uh, oh, biscuits. It's been a while since we made biscuits. Oops, uh, nope. I told you about the secret ingredient. <laughs> Like, what's, what is the secret ingredient? Oh, nice. Oh, and a dead end. Okay. So I guess up we go. Back up to, uh, yeah, avoid the bucket, because the bucket is a lie. On the other side down there, that's where South Bar is, so. Uh, anything over here? No, okay. So, up. Nope, can't go up the ladder. We can go up some of the ladders, but not all of them. I guess that they're too steep. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? Still missing some colors, though. Oh. <laughs> I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. <laughs> Hint, hint. <laughs> well, it's so pretty. Thank you. Did you find the other for me? Please, please? 
Oh, I heard it's a rare plant. Thank you. Okay, and last. I love that color. Thanks, buddy. Found them all. Thank you so much. Here's a reward. Take my badge. Ah, that badge. Looks so good with it. We'll take care of now. Uh, see you, friend. Oh, yeah. Now they've got all, all the plants. <sighs> I'm bored. And Clermontine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. See. Hmm. Okay, the bucket is a lie. It's gonna take me back down, and I don't want to go down. Uh, that might might have been everything, actually. Oh, I could knock it over, but I won't. Uh. Yeah. So very brief stint in mid uh ant town. I guess, um, which I really like this place. It's really pretty. Kind of also reminds me of, um, a kind of like tree town in Arcane on Netflix. Oh, I see some red light up ahead. And we are now diffuserless. Crud. Oh, uh, fossil sus. Use item. Uh, wait. Yeah, we. What is that for? Okay, uh, so let's consult with B12. Oh, wow. Okay, so six memories. Uh, oh, wait. So before we actually go on, let's take a look. See, wow. Huh. Lots of different places. Okay, so we're, we're gonna need something there. Maybe like another fuse, because uh, that's kind of what it looks like that one slot that Doc had us put a fuse into. Ooh. Hello? Oh wow, it's a subway system. Look, this is a subway station. I have completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You can ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Wow, people still had to work in the apocalypse? <laughs> that sucks. Every morning, after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember, I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. I wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Ugh, I don't know, buddy. Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Okay, that was a big memory, huh? So, still six small ones to go. I don't know if that would de be depressing or comforting. Being clo enclosed for like the entirety of your life and just having pictures of like how beautiful nature used to be before it got ruined. Like, ugh. it's sad to think about, especially since things are escalating right now. Like, I just, <sighs> yeah, it's a lot to think about for sure. And things have got to change fast, or this is going to be our reality. Uh, okay, so we're... Aha. Aha. So, you are here, Upper Town. Oh, even though they called this Midtown, this is actually Upper Town. Oh, an exit? What? Control room. Interesting. Are we going to have to, like, get the, like... Subway working? <laughs> Is it going to be like a cab bus? <laughs> like, kind of, right? Uh, oh. Expecting some zombies or something. Ooh. Memory. There are so many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like a comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. 
Uh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, is there anything up here? No. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> the dock. Oh, let's uh, ask about the photo. Oh, hmm. So they recognize Clementine, at least. Oh. Did we change it? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh, God, what was that? Oh. Oh, no. Don't worry about trash. Neko Corporation takes care of everything. I already told you five times, Yosh. You can't run around like that. It's dangerous. Hey, this is the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Oh, it's the girl displayed on the wanted screen, right? Oh. You should ask somebody else. I'm too busy with Yosh to know, uh, to know anything. What did Clementine Troublemaker, Outsider, Rebellious, please report any sightings? Oh no! Yeah, didn't they say that um, this place was like, uh, there were like oppressors here or something? Uh, okay. I mean, it's kind of blue over here. Any memory? Uh, no, can I get, can I get up there? I, mean, I don't know why I would need to, but, uh... Full vantage point, I guess. Oh, look, locks. Chain link fence. Oh, there's uh, the slums. Oh, look, you can even see the outsider uh, sign. So, yeah, that's where we came from. <laughs> like, ah, it seems like so far, so long ago. <laughs> uh, hello? Ooh, can I? No. Oh, it kind of looks like B12, but meaner. Please state your identity. Cooperate or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. <gasps> oh my god. Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. You're looking for Clementine. I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get in trouble asking people about her. We're definitely gonna have to be more careful, that's for sure. I don't see anything. No. Yeah, let's let's not ask these people. Actually, let's ask this guy to the left, can we? No, we can't. Yeah, he's busy. He's busy. <laughs> Midtown. Oh wow. This place is huge. Uh, it's super bright. Wait, could we talk to that guy? No, okay. I'm gonna meet everybody again. Hello! Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day with my my other arm too, and then my body and so on until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you were talking to now? Oh hey, what are you showing me right now? Bunch of people I don't know. My guess is they probably live in the massive housing building further uptown. What do you want with that? Or uh, do what you want with that. Oh, and he's reading How to Be a Ninja. <laughs> uh, <laughs> October 11th. Mm. At Neko Corp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Wait, speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we heard news from them. Oof. Uh, no, you- what you do is you dump it on the slums. Like, no one's processing that stuff. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, that- that, that was my bad. Apologies. This merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I try and confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up as parts. Oh no. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's like, oh, no battery. <laughs> oh, 
maybe that'll help him calm down. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's actually not... Maybe he doesn't have a battery, I don't know. If he's selling faulty batteries, like, he might not actually be okay. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, no, I have no clue. Uh, uh maybe this is it? Translate. 2458 E Doc. 2458. 2458. Really? Hmm. 2458 E Doc. Huh, ah, okay. I guess uh, we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled for something that all makes sense to come back and get that safe open. Wow, this place is huge. Ramen. The ramen signs have always pointed us in the right direction. Oh, wow. Pay phones? Whoa. <laughs> okay, how many of y'all don't know what a pay phone is? <laughs> oh, he's a cleaning wizard. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there. Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Hmm, I don't remember if we met anybody named Fifi. Uh, oh. Hello. I used to own a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee and now it's closed down. <laughs> so kind of like an arrow in the, to the knee. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. Uh, I mean, that's not my intention. Wow. Yeah, this place is super duper cyberpunk, huh? Like. Oh, wow. Whoa. Sorry, shop's closed. I'm waiting for the deliver guys, but it seems they are taking their sweet time. Hmm? What's that picture? Oh, I know her. She's one of those people who's obsessed with the outside. Yeah, okay, but what do you know about her? Um. Wow. This is, uh, this place is crazy. Ooh, that, yeah, looks like a, what do they call them, sentinels or something? Hello. Oh, oh, cute. <laughs> there you go, blah, blah. Th that's, that's a pretty good nap cat nap if I've seen one. <laughs> Okay. Hey, dumb face, we can see you too. Oh, not friendly cameras. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Jinma, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed three security cameras to watch over us. We don't like that at all. Can you get them off our backs? Uh, yeah, probably. Life is boring since the, since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. Hmm, interesting. Okay, cool. So I guess uh, we'll have to figure out how to take those down or unplug them or something. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. There is a lot to explore here, so I imagine um, Midtown is going to have to take up like an entire episode or two just uh, getting through it and finding Clementine. But... Until next time, take care, and I will see you in the next episode.